What's up guys, this is Bool again with Airsoft Retreat and BoolaganAirsoft.com. I'm wearing my finest Echo 1 shirt today, which means we're going to be looking at an Echo 1. The Echo 1 we're looking at today is the Red Star CSR, more commonly referred to as the SVD or Dragonaut. This is a semi-automatic, basically sniper rifle. Uh, some may like the term designated marksman's rifle, that's kind of my preferred uh, title for it, but basically what you have is a full metal, incredibly long AEG. Semi-automatic only, uses a special gearbox that's modeled after the um, off of the real sword designation. So basically you have four gears inside, and later in the video I'll show you some pictures of the internals. Um, what this thing gives you is it's 500 plus FPS. Mine came in at, I want to say, about 505 with my testing. Um, and just incredible range. Incredible range and accuracy. I was I was very comfortable putting hits out just, just about to 200 feet, which is really impressive with a essentially stock AEG. Um, comes with a couple of really cool features. First off, look at this thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's a Dragonov. If you want to know what a Dragonov looks and feels like, this is this is pretty much it. You have this large selector switch right here that has two options. Safe, semi-auto, a so full auto on this. You're not going to be running and gunning with it, and that's not the point. Um, this gun is meant to be fired in semi-auto only. Um, if you pull the charging handle back, you'll notice it has a special top-adjusting rotary-style pop-up. So basically, it's a dial that twists adjust your hop-up. Because it's adjusting it from the top, you get a little bit better consistency uh, versus adjusting it from, from the side. Sometimes it can tend to put a little bit of a lean on the uh, on the hop-up button. So, or on the hop-up nub, excuse me. This does away with that because of how it adjusts. Uh, it does come with iron sights and a really long sight radius. So if you're using iron sights, yeah, you can you can certainly do that. It's, it's certainly usable that way. However, this thing's made to have an optic, and I know the AK purists are going to crucify me for having this optic on here because it's not the proper one, but it's what I had, and it works fantastically well. You also have a removable cheek rest that comes on and off moderately easily. Basically, you just have to undo the little latch, hook it, and it comes off. If you're running with the iron sights, you are most likely going to want to run it without the cheek rest because the cheek rest does raise it enough that it could become difficult to properly see the um, to properly see the the iron sights. But with the scope, you basically have a really good you know place to put it. Wind you right up, depending on the type of optic that you're going to use. Your battery compartment is in the handguard. I am running a Tenergy 11.1 volt LiPo. It's a uh, 1,000 milliamp hour 20 C. It's from their high output line. I've done a review on it in the past, um, and with this gun, it works amazingly well. You also have one of the longest inner and outer barrels that I've ever seen on a factory gun. The inner barrel goes all the way to the end here. It's uh, 600 millimeters plus. I've got the exact measurement in the review. Um, another thing that it comes with are two full metal high cap magazines. Yes, I know, boo, it's a high cap, it rattles, but when you're actually using this thing as semi-auto, it's nice being able to have 200 plus shots um, at your disposal. And the gun comes with two of them, which is always nice. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do just a quick uh, fire test. I'm not going to be doing any velocity checks or anything like that. That's all in the review, but so you can kind of see how it sounds and you can hear the trigger response. That's the thing that really impressed me when using an 11.1 volt LiPo battery. Now I'm going to be firing blanks here, so there's no, there's no beam in the gun. But if you'll hear, almost instantaneous trigger response. There were follow-up shots. I mean, I can double tap with this thing all day. So really, if you're going to get this gun, you can use the stock battery that it comes with. However, I would really recommend jumping into a low out or a low to medium output LiPo just for almost instantaneous trigger response. Um, the gun's awesome. Really, if you're looking for a, uh, a full metal semi-automatic SVD, the Echo 1 CSR is really the way to go. Uh, the price is right on it. And, you know, you get Echo 1's full support, two magazines comes with a battery, comes with a, basically everything you need to run it, just throw some BBs in it and you're good to go. So uh, I'm going to have a couple of uh, glamour shots of the gun and uh, check it out. Uh, many thanks to Echo One USA for providing this gun to review and be sure to check out my new site, BooleganAirsoft.com. 
as well as all of my reviews on Airsoft Retreat. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.